And at the end of the day, they finally came to see me with the pictures. Why protect a friend who betrayed you like that? But I didn't want to look at him. I didn't want to look at the guys who brought him either. There is a house. Your Honor, as you can see, my clients are elderly and infirm. Any incarceration could pose a serious health risk. When the bosses were arrested, some of them were so old they needed doctors at their arraignment. And pretrial services recommends that bail remain as presently set. Go ahead and take a 10 minute recess. When it looked like they could get 25 years to life in prison just for skimming a casino, sick or no fucking sick, you knew people were gonna get clipped. So the day of the arraignment, they had this meeting right in the back of the courthouse. See, when something like this happens, you know how things are gonna work out. It's always better with no witnesses. So what about Andy? He won't talk. Stone's a good kid. Stand-up guy just like his old man. That's the way I see it. I agree. He's solid. A fucking Marine. He's OK. He always was. Remo, what do you think? Look, why well, take a chance? At least that's the way I feel about it. Call Adi. Tell him I don't care what. He's got to be in my office Thursday morning before 11 o'clock. It's done. terribly important. It's I got to have a conversation with him. As much as they liked him, I mean, he wasn't one of us. He wasn't Italian. As far as they know, he could have talked. Otherwise, Stoney might still be alive. The first one to skip was John Nance. He found a nice, warm, secluded place in Costa Rica. He thought nobody would find him there. Then his kid got nabbed by the feds for drugs. And so naturally, the bosses were afraid he'd come out of hiding just to save his kid and give them all up. So. Tell your children. Where you going, Jack off? But anyway, they, you know, they all had to follow. Everybody went down. Oh, <laughs> Before you knew it, anybody who knew anything wound up getting whacked. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! After Ginger took off, she wasn't much help to anybody. She found some pimps, low-life druggies, and bikers in L.A. And in a few months, they went through all the money and all the jewels. After they found a body, I had a private doctor do another autopsy. He said they gave her a hot dose. In the end, all she had left was 3,600 men condition coins. No matter what the feds or the papers might have said about my car bombing, it was amateur night, you could tell. Whoever it was, they put the dynamite under the passenger side. But what they didn't know, what nobody outside the factory knew, was that that model car was made with a metal plate under the driver's seat. It's the only thing that saved my life. The bombing was never authorized, but I suspect I know who lit the fuse. Hey, 
And so do the powers that be. It took months for everything to calm down. But finally, my guys got out on bail, and the bosses wanted me to send my brother Dominic out to Vegas. Always the dollars. Always the fucking dollars. I mean, it was still way too hot for me to even go near Vegas. So I set up a meeting with the guys way out in the sticks. I didn't want my brother to get fucked around. I mean, what's right is right. They don't give a fuck about... Ah! You run, motherfucker! Tough guys, huh? You run, motherfucker! Tough guy! You and your oh, you fucking brother! You fucking scumbag! No more! Tough guy! Tough guy! No more! You see? Fuck! The word was out. The bosses had enough for Nikki. They had enough. How much were they going to take? So they made an example of him and his brother. They buried them while they were still breathing. 